going to take the uh, Ric Flair mentality. So, you know, if you're going to be the man, you got to beat the man. So you're going to make some people happy and some people a little upset. But, you know, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, you got to play those guys. The great thing about it is, you know, we'll find out a little bit about ourselves and go out and compete and see where that gets us. Every two years, the landscape in Texas high school football changes, at least in terms of what it takes to make the state title game or perhaps just even the playoffs. It's safe to say, though, not all coaches are jumping for joy after today's UIL reclassification and realignment. But the end goal is to make it a level, a level playing field for everyone involved. Some programs, however, are placed in districts that require a lot of travel, while others are in leagues where finishing the top four will be a complete grind. And as Mike Lucas reports, Brazos Valley coaches were hoping for the best come 9 o'clock this morning. Justin, this was my first UIL realignment day, so I really wasn't sure what I was getting into as we drove to Huntsville this morning. But as it turns out, I wasn't the only one feeling that way. It's like a Christmas feeling, man. It was hard to sleep last night um, just thinking of the, the different possibilities of what district or what region we would be in. For another few minutes, this package is the center of attention for dozens of Brazos Valley coaches. At 9 a.m., chaos ensues. I'm not near smart enough to be a, like a stockbroker or something, but it seems pretty similar once those boxes open and everybody's yelling, I need a two, need a two, need a three, and there's papers flying everywhere. Once the box is ripped open and the papers are passed out, it's a mad frenzy to fill out non-district schedules. Franklin needs week one, week four, second scrimmage. Your phone rings more than you think it would in one single day. As soon as that drops at nine, all of a sudden your phone, you're one of the most popular guys in the state. The different leagues are set by the UIL. I'll pencil it in. The packets contain the groundwork for a playoff run, and that means going through the so-called District of Doom for some local schools. Tradition. Physicality, speed, I mean, they're, this is going to be a test of our metal for sure. Our program, you know, is in a good place, you know, but, um, you know, we're going to go play some teams whose their programs are in pretty good places too. So it should make for some really good football on Friday nights. In Huntsville, Mike Lucas, KX Sports. Thanks, Mike. As always, let's get into some of the X's and O's, so to speak, now of UIL realignment for 2020 to 2022. Brian Footballer loan 6A program in the Brazos Valley has to be elated of the news that it received this morning. The Vikings are set to play in District 12-6A for the next two years. Brian, who missed the playoffs the last couple seasons, struggled to compete against the Cypress and Houston-based schools. Now, though, the Vikings have a real chance to make the playoffs in a new eight-team league consisting of Temple, Belton, and the Colleen program. I think we're more like those schools, their size-wise, the demographics, and, you know, and uh, we've got tradition over there. We're familiar with it. It's a little more travel, but I feel like that overall, uh, we feel like we've got a chance to be more competitive in, in all our districts from football all the way through golf and tennis. College Station stayed in Class 5A Division One, and in fact, the Cougars are still in District 8. The only difference, Willis and Tom Ball are out, Cleveland, New Caney, and New Caney Porter move in. The Cougars have made the playoffs every year since becoming a program in 2012 and we all know they have a state title to their name as well. So yes, Steve Huff and company will always be competitive. It's just a matter of what seed will the Cougs get out of this fairly new loaded nine team league. Familiarity is the one thing, you know, when you talk about, you know, playing teams as, as long as the coaches are saying that you've been playing. But at the same time, uh, you know, our, our district's been very, very competitive, uh, good crowds. It's all, you know, every week you go in, it's, it's good, good stadiums, good ballparks and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, again, when you add in the two schools we added in, uh, it's going to be a very, very tough district. In Class 5A Division II, there was a chance Brenham could join forces with a Consolidated, Rudder, and Huntsville. But everything stayed relatively the same with the Cubs still in District 13. The Tigers, Rangers, and Hornets, meanwhile, remained in District 10. The league, though, does welcome in Lamar Fulshear. Consol is your reigning district champion, but don't forget Huntsville won it all in 2018. You add that with Rudder on the rise, and boy, this 17th district should be a blast the next two years. I think it's going to be a tough district again. I think there's some real good teams in there. And, um, you know, the great thing is those are teams you played, so you kind of know what they're all about, uh, getting prepared for those guys and doing that. A lot of times you played the freshmen, the JV and that, and, you know, a lot of these kids know a lot of the kids they're playing against. And so it makes it kind of a continuity type deal. 
From Class 4A, Navasota is moving down from Division 1 to Division 2, and they already won a district title last year. So, yeah, look out for the Rattlers because they will be very competitive in their new six-team district. Caldwell has moved down to Class 3A, Division 1. The Hornets are joining a fun now district, which includes Cameron Yo and Rockdale. So, three of uh, Brazos Valley teams, they're set to go at it. Franklin moves to Class 3A, Division 2. The Lions will be super competitive in District 13 with the likes of Buffalo and Lexington. From the smaller school ranks, new District 13 2A Division 2 should be exciting because it includes Burton, Iola, Milano, Snook, and Somerville. How about that for some Brazos Valley fun? We're going to have much more on UIL realignment tonight at 10 o'clock. That's it for sports. We'll be back after the break.